This is the Impact Sports Podcast, and my name is Nick, and I want to thank our guest uh, for joining us here tonight. So thank you for your time tonight. Uh, not going to take up a lot of your time, so we'll jump into a conversation here in just a second. Before we get started into all that, I do want to give a quick shout out to two of our sponsors. Um, that is the Soul Goals Podcast and Fast Pitch Films. I'll have these links down below. Please check them out. I absolutely love working with each of these companies. Um, I've talked to their owners uh, both, and I love what they do. Um, so please check them out. Like I said, these links will be down below. That's Fast Pitch Films and The Soul Goes Podcast. So next up, I want to go ahead and get you to introduce yourself, and we will jump into our conversation. All right. So my name is Hannah Tober. I'm a junior in high school from New Kent, Virginia, and I'm committed to play softball at the University of Virginia. I got you. Well, thank you, Hannah, for joining me, like I said, and I appreciate your time. So let's jump in. You talked about being committed to Virginia there. So kind of take me back to your recruitment process. Just what was that experience like for you? And just how did you kind of, you know, handle that? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Like, how was that for you? I definitely enjoyed the recruiting process. It was definitely an exciting time. Um, it was definitely a little overwhelming at first, mm. especially on yeah. September 1st, receiving all the emails and phone calls and sending up phone calls with coaches and uh, scheduling visits. But I loved going mm. on visits. <laughs> I was very fortunate to be able to go to a lot of my top schools on visits. And I love meeting new coaches, seeing the campuses. And it was it was an it was a great time. And I ultimately chose UVA because of the campus, the school. I love the coaches and it really felt like home there. And it's close to home. It's only like an hour and thirty minutes from oh, yeah. where I live in Virginia. So it's really close to home and my parents can come watch and it was, it ultimately felt like home and it was the right decision for me. Gotcha. And hey, it's always a plus when family can come watch you kind of do uh, the thing you've yes. always done there. Uh, thank you for that. So now I want to ask you about lessons kind of you learned since you played this sport. Obviously, I know you got many more years down the road to, to go and learn and everything, but what are some lessons you've learned that kind of maybe even help you off the field uh, even when you played this sport so far? Well, hard work and dedication is super important and it really does pay off. Um, and also confidence is key. When mm. I play, um, I always do the best hitting and fielding when I have confidence. And a lot of that comes from the hard work I put in during um, the off time, off season, yeah. outside mm. of practice, putting in the extra work. I got you. And speaking of work, I, I want to ask you about that. That's one of my questions here. And I want to transition into that you know whenever whenever anybody that gets to a level that you're at being able to commit to a school like Virginia um, and play at the next level because that that in itself is you know very very few people get to do that so obviously that comes with you know time commitments your energy level your effort level those have to be up there like you said with that work that you put in so talk about those commitments that you've had to make and sustain you know throughout your career so far well, definitely time management is a huge factor in being yeah. able to manage the my schoolwork because I, I go to a governor's school, so I have college level coursework oh, and yeah. I have a lot to do. And just time management, being able to um, balance that, the um, work for softball I put in, like I go to a speed and agility coach um, and I also lift. So time management is super, super important. Being able to get in schoolwork whenever you can and mm. prioritizing that over over softball, even though that can be difficult sometimes, <laughs> but school does yeah. come first. So, yeah, time management is huge. Yeah, and I, th I mean, I, I've talked to people, you know, that's three to four years into their college career already, and they say the same thing then. Like, mm -hmm. every year they're learning more about how to manage your time because different years, different things get thrown at you and, and all kind of stuff like that. And, and, hey, you're already preparing yourself for that next level of taking, you know, like you said, those – uh, college courses there. Uh, so now I want to ask you about advice. What is, you know, I'm sure you got a great support system around you, whether that's your family, coaches, teammates, whoever in your life. And I know people was giving you advice throughout this journey. So what's the best piece of advice you've gotten from somebody lately? Well, for softball, the best advice is don't get too high with the highs and don't get too low with the lows. Mm, yeah. And also to always keep positive energy and to be a great teammate. I mean, college coaches are always looking for that girl on the field who has the most energy, who's positive, who's cheering on her team, even when she's not playing or if yeah. she's having a bad game. That is super, super important. You want to be a great teammate to everybody and be a very likable person. 
Um, but my re advice for recruiting is definitely take as many visits as you can. You mm. never know if you'll like the school until you go on campus. Like I didn't know that I liked a lot of these schools. Like, I mean, I liked them, but I didn't know I would like them as much as I did until yeah, I went until on you campus. Were, yeah. And you get the feel and you see what the college life is like there. That's super, super important. I got you. Thank you for that. And I, and I love the, the first thing about, uh, you know, it was preached to me when I played sports, uh, you know, all, a couple of my coaches would always say, stay even. And kind of yeah. like you said, don't get too high or too low. And I remember I heard those two words so many times, stay even, yeah. stay even. And, and, you know, and it, like you said, it's hard to do sometimes, you know, really is hard to do, but that is great advice there. And especially about recruiting. Cause I know a lot of people reach out to me to, uh, you know, maybe it's parents a lot of times that talk about like, Hey, you know, ask people how the recruiting is and what you need to do. And, and I love that advice. Like, Hey, go, go check out these places, you know, don't be afraid to, mm -hmm. to go check them out. So now maybe I call this a struggle, but also just really something you've been trying to work on. So is there anything like that for you that maybe you've really just been trying to focus on a little bit more than normal lately? Right now, just trying to balance my school and softball because I did miss a lot of days from school because of my visits and then my travel season. Mm, so yeah. I've definitely been having to uh, catch up with the school. Like I said, I have college level courses, so they're really demanding. And when you miss one day of school, it's it's tough. You miss a lot yeah. because because we <laughs> cover a lot of work. So just trying to catch up on all my schoolwork and get back in that balance is what I'm mm. trying to work on right now. I got you. Well, thank you for that. So now I'm going to jump to some questions here. They have nothing to do with softball. So I'm just going to get to know you a little bit more kind of rapid fire style here. Favorite movie. Favorite movie is probably the Sandlot. Got, got, hey, got to love the Sandlot right there. Yeah. Uh, favorite so musical funny. artist. Morgan Wallen. Gotcha. Also another good one there. And then yes. favorites, obviously it's holiday season. So give me your favorite holiday. Christmas. Gotcha. Love last time one, with my family. Always, always a good time there too. I, that's why yeah. I went, well, actually Thanksgiving is probably mine, which actually it's kind of weird because mm -hmm. this Thanksgiving, uh, you can hear my voice a little bit. So my whole family was sick. So we missed all of our Thanksgiving oh, plans, sorry. but we actually we ended up cooking at home. So it was, it was kind of nice, but it was still yeah. very weird because not doing being around family and all that stuff there. So now last one, favorite thing to do besides your sports. So when you like to get away, if you have the time between school and all that stuff, what do you like to do besides softball? I love hanging out with my friends and family and my, uh, my sister and I, we've been going to the gym a lot more lately, which is awesome because I love lifting and spending time with her and my best friends. It's I, that's what I like to do. Awesome. Love that. Well, thank you for that. So last thing I got for you before I let you get out of here, talk to me about what's coming up in your life. Like, what are you looking forward to? Just talk to me about a little bit about that. Well, right now I have one more tournament this upcoming weekend in Florida. I play for the Tampa Mustangs. So okay. that's going to be our last fall tournament together. And then I will go into off season and then it'll be time for school ball, which is super exciting. My team, we're really good. We won States my freshman year and we think like third place we lost in the semifinal game last year so okay. this year we're hopefully gonna win another state championship and i'm super excited to hit the field with those girls again awesome well definitely good luck in the the travel uh, game there the tournament and then also school ball i know that's always fun there well thank you for your time again excuse thank my voice you. and everything trying to do the best it's i can okay. there uh but thank you so much enjoy the rest of your night i appreciate your time hannah thank you so much i appreciate it